Hey guys, before I get into this video, I just wanted to say hi to all the new faces around here. I just wanted to say thank you for all of you who are watching my videos and coming back and subscribing because it means so, so much to me. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this little get ready question video. If you have any like real life questions to ask me, just head over to my Instagram. I have it linked down below and feel free to ask questions there. I'd love to do a question and answer video in the new year future. I just need questions from you guys. And yeah, if you head over to my Instagram and hit me up in the DMs, then I would love to answer your questions because I love connecting with you guys. And I just, I love people so much and it just like means so much to connect with you guys. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, but I hope you enjoy this video. So thanks guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenna Martin and today I'm gonna do a little get ready with me with some icebreaker questions. I am just like, don't have any makeup on right now. So I was like, why not make myself feel good about myself and do a little makeup. So I have my mirror set up here and then while I do my makeup, I will answer some questions. I brought up a website that has like generated icebreaker questions. So that should be fun to get into. But before I go into that, I'm also gonna like be telling you also what my makeup routine is. So I'm gonna start out with some Morphe primer that my friend got for me. And yeah, I'm also right now, I'm wearing this little sports bra. It's like, yeah, it goes down to there by Mini Active Wear. I work with them. And then also this little juicy culture and it has like a, um, yeah, is what I'm wearing. All right. The first icebreaker question. If you could live in any state, which state would you pick? So if you know me, you know that I'm a big warm weather girl and I'd have to say if I could live anywhere or any state, I'd probably choose Florida or I've always loved Georgia. I just love like the Spanish moss down there and everything. Um, also right now I'm putting on this clean fresh CoverGirl makeup foundation medium tan and I like the way it goes on and everything. Okay. Wow, I look a little crazy. So I'd have to say Florida. Now, I also, I've always wanted to go to the West Coast. I've never, I've never been to the West Coast before. And I think like maybe the warm parts of California I would be into as well. I just like, I don't know. I feel like that's so oversaid sometimes. Maybe, maybe warm California, like maybe LA. Next question. Would you want to have an imaginary friend today? And did you have one as a child? Would I want to have one? No. Today? No. I would rather have a real friend than an imaginary one. And like, sometimes I think that the best thing that we can do is like ourselves, you know, and be our own friend instead of having an imaginary one. And yes, I did kind of have one as a child. I would create stories in my head and I would play them outside and I would be with other people. So I didn't necessarily have like a specific friend. I just had imaginary like stories with people in them that were around me. What did you want to be when you grew up? That's an interesting question. Okay, I like this question. When I was little, I really wanted to live up in the mountains. I wanted to be like secluded from like everywhere. I wanted to be like 30 minutes from any like town or anything. 
and I wanted to have a farm with Angus cows, all black cows. I just wanted to live up in the mountains and like be very secluded except for like my husband and like our family. And now I have my own business. I live in the city. Um, I have no plans ever to be like secluded from others because like I would lose my mind. I love people. And yeah, I just think that's really funny, so. Do you prefer big dogs or small dogs? It depends on their temperament. I think that's the big thing for me. I have met some very nice small dogs as long as they're quiet. And then big dogs kind of freak me out. But if they're chill, then I'm not like freaked out. Because I've had, I'm not much of a dog person actually. And that's mostly because I've never had a really good experience with dogs. Like we had a dog when I was younger. He was like the same age as me growing up. So I never knew him as a puppy and he died at 16, like when I was 16. I never had fun memories of him. I've had like a dog run up and like attack me and my mom. I've had a German Shepherd like bite my arm. I have not had the best experiences with them. Just don't love them. But saying that, me and my like roommates like my brother i live with my brother we have a cat but now that we have her i feel like i'd rather have a dog yeah she does her own thing but like she also can be kind of a lot maybe i'm just not ready to have a pet yet you know maybe not next question what celebrity do most people say you look like i've heard many different things now granted i had brown hair before so the person that people have said I look like is, I've heard Zendaya. Someone used to say that when I had like brown hair and I had it crimped like this. Also like, I feel like people said certain things during COVID because I had a mask on and I just like looked a certain way, I guess. I had a lady say that I looked like Kendall Jenner. I haven't heard that many people like say about like a celebrity lookalike for me because I really just don't think I do look like a lot of celebrities what is your favorite vacation spot some of the best memories that i ever like have had is my senior trip we went to ocean city new jersey and we had a house like right by the water and like that was my favorite thing i remember the one morning i woke up and i went to go watch the sunrise and that was like the prettiest thing that will forever be one of my favorite trips i've ever had as a vacation anything with the beach honestly anything with the beach and people that i love what was your favorite class in school one thing that i actually do remember that i did love in ninth grade i loved biology like i loved learning about animals and stuff like i've always been a really big animal lover and learning about all of that like most people didn't like that class but i i just loved learning about it like it was something that interested me so i like really really enjoyed like learning all about like the processes of how like, they all like live and stuff next question are you more productive in the morning or at night i am most productive at night i do not chill at night i work like even like last night, that's like what I was doing. Once it was later, then I started like cleaning up and organizing my basement and was doing stuff with work for like thrifting and everything. And like my brain clicks on all cylinders at nighttime. And I just feel like I can focus more. But when I'm like at home at nighttime, I come up with like the best ideas. I just get so much done. I just do a lot better at night. How tall are you? I am 5'5". Five five. I'm the most average height for a woman. I used to want to be 5'1", fun fact. I wanted to be like five, between 5'1 five and 5'3". I always wanted to be so short. What is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is green. I love the color green. I don't wear the color green very often, but I love love the color green because it reminds me of things growing so obviously my favorite season is summer i love the summer i mean i also love the fall but 
one thing that I love about the summer is that the greenery is just so beautiful. Like everything's just covered in green and there's green everywhere. And it's just like so full of life and vibrant. And like when I walk into the woods and it's just like covered in green, like I love that. I don't know, it's like fresh, it's a fresh start. That's the only reason why I like green. I don't necessarily think it's like super pretty. Like something that I think is really pretty is like beiges and things like that that are more natural. To decorate and like interior wise, I'm very much someone who likes whites with like creams and maybe some beiges and like natural wood color, the light wood color. And then green, I like to throw in there too as like a pop of color. Sorry, that was my laptop. I love, I've recently started to really love orange. I loved orange when I was younger and then I like stopped liking it. Not gonna lie, I started liking orange because my crush that I had a crush on for six years, six years. So I liked orange because of him. And then after that, I stopped liking orange. But now I like orange again. I like the deep orange, like the burnt oranges. And cause I love throwing that in as an accent with like my greens and my whites and natural wood color, more muted color of that, nothing like too bright or anything. So those are my favorite colors. Does my car have a name and what is it? If you don't know, which I'm sure you guys don't, I have a Mazda Mazda 3 Sport. She's white, she's cute. She has great gas mileage, but I got her and I thought, oh yeah, I know what I'm naming her. Her name's Phantom white phantom that's the thing she's a ghost i named her that because of the song robbery i got black i got white what you want and then dun -dun 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 phantom oh what you doing something like that what simple food will you never eat i think i would say i'd never eat anchovies i know they're really not that bad but i don't want to eat them and i've never eaten them i don't really plan to what is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? I love making smoothie bowls. Right now, it's so cold. Like this morning, I, I did eat a smoothie bowl, but it's like, it's freezing outside. And so then I like get really, really cold and I like can't get warm. And then I'm like chugging coffee. Like I make like a whole nother pot of coffee and I just like start chugging it because I'm so cold and my insides are so cold that like not the best idea, but. I will always eat a smoothie bowl. Also, they were inspired by Earthy Andy as well. Ooh, that's a good question. What is something interesting we would not know about you just by looking? Something interesting about me that is where I started from, where Jenna Martin came from, is I was Mennonite. I was Mennonite till fifth grade. And then we switched to like a non-denominational church. Even then, like I didn't start wearing like anything close to pants till seventh grade. They were like really, really baggy pants. They were called like clots or something. I remember I didn't even own my first pair of like American Eagle jeans until 10th grade. I literally would just buy jeans at Ross that is something that most people would not realize about me is that I was Mennonite. I'm not anymore, so. Okay, all right, whoa. Finished my makeup, but we're gonna do one more question before I end this little video that I did. The last question is, what piece of advice would you share with your younger self? I would tell my younger self that you can really be whoever you wanna be it just takes you deciding who you want to be and then taking steps towards that and making those choices. And there's nothing that can like stop you from your dreams. You don't even know where life is taking you. And so many good things are coming and so many good things are still coming for me. But it just takes jumping and it takes believing in yourself. That is all the questions for today. I hope you enjoyed this little type of video. It's something a little different. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know or 
If you have any more questions about my life, please let me know down in the comments. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click and turn on post notifications because it really supports my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate every single one of you and I'm so glad you're here. I will see you next week. I'm gonna be in Florida and I'll be vlogging that. I will try to have a video up by this coming Sunday. I'm still gonna be there though, so it's like, I'm planning to. I really wanna have a good like vlog going, but also like I'll be on vacation, so it might be a little bit difficult, but yeah. I'll see you next week. Stay tuned. Bye guys.